Morning, lovely viewer. Well, I wanted to do a quick video today of um, David Austin roses compared to Cordes roses. And it, this is gonna be just a, a first impression. I planted some Cordes roses this year. I planted many of them. And um, some of the David Austin roses, this is gonna be their third summer. This is Rose Gertrude Jekyll. This is, um, this is its third. This is gonna be its third summer. So I wanted to do just a first impressions because I think there are some subtle differences that I'm seeing. Now, I'm gonna be mindful. I don't want this video to be a versus competition. I'm not gonna place one over the other, but I do think there's some differences that's, that's, worth, that's worth talking about. Now, last year, I planted a Cordes rose, Rose Amadeus, in my front garden. And I commented at the time that it felt like I was cheating and it was London Pottinger who asked me, what did I mean by that? And um, I couldn't really answer her. But now I, I, think I've, I think I've got an answer. Now, when I come out this morning, I knew that it had been heavy rain overnight. And Gertrude has taken a proper battering. She really has. Now, trying to put into words the differences between the two, imagine if you will, <laughs> that I had a daughter and she told me that she was going to go out for the evening with her friends and she was she was late getting home well if I were a father I would probably be sleeping with one eye open I would probably be worried sick now that is that is a little bit like Gertrude the rain it has given her a battering now imagine that I had a son this here is Rose Cordes Rose Rose Sweet Honey imagine if I had a son and um, he told me that he was going out with his friends and he didn't get home late at night now the chances are I wouldn't be worried now whether that's right or wrong I'm I'm not going to say is that fair I'm not going to say it's just an emotion. Sometimes we can't help our emotions. And um, this rose here, Rose Sweet Honey, it is an ADR award-winning rose, a former Rose of the Year winner, a rose with fantastic ability. They say a very healthy rose. It's a rose with no fragrance, but it's a rose with fantastic ability. I'm gonna say that the rose this rose is a little bit robotic in its in its nature just a little bit it's roses when they when they open up that rose there it's giving me 95% it is 95% perfect and when i come back tomorrow expecting it to be 100% it won't be 100% it will still be 95% the roses as they as they age as each day passes, it's 95%, 95%, 95%, 95%, until it needs deadheading. Now these roses, when they flower, I have deadheaded some of these roses already. They last easily a week, if not over a week. Its petals are very, they, they, they feel tough. They feel tough. Now when I come out this morning, after this particularly heavy rainstorm last night, I just wasn't worried. I was not worried about rose sweet honey at all. Perhaps I was even smiling, you know, rose sweet honey this morning. He may have walked in with a, a pint of milk in his hand and a newspaper tucked under his arm, whistling away. And I wouldn't have been worried. But it's roses, they, they give me 95%. Day in, day out. Now, let's go back to Rose Gertrude and I'm gonna turn it the other way now. Now, this rose here, straight away I can tell that this has given me 100%. It is currently giving me 100%. This rose here, this flower here is giving me everything that it has, 100%. And if I were to look around, there's another one there, that one there. <sighs> That one there is at 100%, total perfection. But in a couple of days time, 
and it will only be a couple of days time, these roses would have would have gone over. They would have burst over and they would no longer have that beauty. But it's given me 100%. Now let's go back to this one. I'm trying to put into words as best I can. Now, this rose here, when I say it's slightly robotic in nature, perhaps many of you will be crying out for that. Crying out for that durability, for that reliability, for that predictability, for a rose to, for a flower to stay at 95% for a week or more. Surely there has to be room for that in everyone's garden. And what I'm, what I'm trying to say is that perhaps there's room to have a little boy and a little girl in the garden. This one, you get that durability, that reliability, that predictability, uh, perhaps a lack of just a little bit of personality, of character. And that is something that is not to be underestimated because what drives us around our gardens each morning to see our roses is not necessarily performance or ability each day or each evening. Sometimes it is the character of a rose, the personality of a rose, the soul of a rose. As I'm stood here, the fragrance is, it is intense. I can really get a smell of it, even though this has taken a right battering from the rain. Yes, some of the the flowers have started to fall over. And come September time, when the flushes of these roses are, are less intense and they're more spaced apart. Look at that beautiful. That's another one that's given me 100%. When the flushes are, are more spaced apart, when they're less intense, when there are less flowers, maybe I'll be, I'll be crying out for, for this. So when London Potager asked me why did it feel like I was cheating I mean look at this ability it's a fantastic thing in a rose and I can't help but think this is a German rose you know they produce those cars BMW cars you know they're going to be reliable predictable you know exactly what you're going to get they're not going to let you down they're going to be doing the same thing engineering precision and I can't help but think that this has come out in their in their roses as well you know if we all had enough money we would probably all have a German car on our driveways for that predictability for that reliability engineering precision see I'm looking at this rose here and many of you will tap to focus Many of you, I mean, I'm looking at that on my phone screen and it certainly looks beautiful to me on my phone screen, but to the naked eye, I think that's only 95%, but it's a 95% that will last. Bulletproof. If this were a classroom, bro, sweet honey, he would be sat at the front of the class. And if a teacher asked a question, he would, his hand, it would go straight up Bolt upright because he would know the answers because he has that fantastic ability. He has the accolades. He knows the answer. Algebra, no problem. Now, Rose Gertrude, she would probably be at the back of the class asleep. And if she's asked the same question, she won't know the answer. But she would follow that up and say something along the lines of, I don't know the answer, miss, but I can show you a cool card trick. Or I can tell you a funny joke. At playtime, Rose Gertrude would be perhaps having all her school friends around her, con congregating around her. Sweet honey, he will probably be on his laptop studying for his, for his, his next lesson. There's room for both. I think there's room for both. And I want to be mindful. I want to be careful not to, not to encourage this war of the war of the roses. There's room there's room for both. There's room for predictability. There's room for unpredictability. There's room for character and soul in our gardens. Now, let's go out the front. So, in answer to your question, London Potager, that you asked last year, why did it feel like I was 
I was cheating. I think there's just something, something German about the, the Cordes, the Cordes roses. And there's, there's something a little that's unpredictable with the, with the English roses. Now there are crossovers, of course, this is just a generalization. And to prove this, as many of you will know, this is Rose Summer Romance. Fantastic. And this is a rose, a German rose that has character and personality. I absolutely love this rose along, in fact, let's be fair, with the entire perfu Parfumer collection. This is a rose I can't walk past without smelling it. Spicy Parfumer. Fantastic. And I would not say that this rose in particular is, um, is lacking soul or character. But this here is Rose Amadeus. And despite the heavy rainstorms that we had last night and over the last couple of days, this rose was never in any danger. He's walking in this morning with his newspaper tucked under his arm, carrying his pint of milk, whistling away. <laughs> was never in any doubt. Reliability. Predictability. That is what you that is what you get. But just while we're here, let's just have a look at the front here. Is it me or are the roses so huge this year? I'm seeing some huge, huge flowers. This is Rose Arthur Bell. Rose Arthur Bell. Look at Gertrude. She got battered. She got absolutely battered. And yeah, when I when I walked around the, the garden this morning, it occurred to me, all of these things that in my head, it, it, it kind of just, just come out, but it is only a, a first impression. And please, I want to be mindful not to have this versus thing, David Austin versus Cordes. That's something that does not interest me. I think there's room for both. But now I say that, it would not surprise me at all. It would not surprise me at all if we see a video appear on YouTube that has got that David Austin versus Cordes. That's something that I'm not interested in, but that wouldn't surprise me one little bit. But this here, in fact, while I think of it, this here is Rose Elizabeth. I've showed you it before, it's a cutting. It's something I propagated and it's done fantastically well. But when I first bought this rose, it's a new rose, new rose for 2022. Um, when it started to grow, I wasn't overly keen on the foliage. It's foliage, very deep cut sort of veins on the leaves, giving it like a, a leathery sort of aged look. But that's character. That is character in a rose. And that is something that's, that's not to be underestimated because it occurred to me this morning when I was worried to look at my roses, character, personality, soul. That is what we sometimes, that is what we sometimes look for, along with the ability, the reliability of a, of a German rose, a Cordes rose. I think they, they go together very well. But in fact, I've just seen a French rose here. I believe it's French rose, Pierre de Ronsard. Absolutely beautiful. You know, I did hear BMW, they, they started to employ French designers for their cars, Italian and British designers for their cars. And I think that is a, that is a dynamite combination, that sort of Italian flair. But blimey, we're at 14 minutes. Right, lovely viewer. That is my video for today. I hope you're, you're all well. Let's just say hello to Shawnee. <laughs> Hello, Shawnee. Say goodbye. Right, lovely viewer. I hope you have a lovely day.